Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and guess what? We're back at our big storage unit with some kind of crazy news. But this is going to be part five of this storage unit. But before we get into it, I want you to look over here. You see some broken toes and stuff? You know why? Because we got hit with a 4.5 earthquake last night and decided it was going to take the boxes down. Luckily, everything we see in there is just paperwork and a couple, a couple of cheap Christmas ornaments. So it didn't look like we lost anything, luckily. But we have a lot more to go through, so don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Boom! Alright, so, these two totes were also on the ground, but they didn't fall, like, well, they, land, they landed on the other stuff, so, they're still good. So we still have this stuff right here to go through, and I think that's where we're going to start today, and try to get these totes and who knows what else. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like there's too much left in there, but... Those boxes and stuff in the back, that's gotta be where the big ticket items are, so let's go. All right, so let's go through the red tote, but first, this came down from, I don't even know where, the heavens above, apparently. We got a bag with a Jordache or something on it. Jordache. Jordache, yeah, it sounds like Jordache. But it looks like there's nothing in it, but I don't know if that's a good brand. Is it worth anything? I don't um, really know. I don't know. All right, so let's set that aside. Yes, Christmas tub top, gift bags, Stickers. Well, it doesn't look like really good stuff in this one. This one could have fell too, for all I care. Pictures. Pictures. What is this? Pictures. Nothing. Ooh, yeah, come here, come here, come here. Be silver. I doubt it. No, not at all. Fake. Dora. What do you got for us, Dora? Chapstick. Nope. Swiper can have it. We don't want it. Um, what else do we have in here? Looks like a lot of... Ooh, look at that. Hmm, looks like an artist's portrait. Look at what it was done. 1981 by... Does this say Gene Nelson? Gene Nelson, yeah. Yeah, Gene Nelson. Anyone ever heard of that artist before? It's a good painting. Yeah, it's really good. Hmm, that'll be set aside. So we have some wrapped up stuff, probably Christmas ornaments. Oh no, what is that? This is a genuine... What is that gem? Alabaster. Alabaster. Alabaster hand carved made in Italy. Ooh. That looks nice. Definitely something we have to look up on eBay. Some stuff like this sounds stupid, but it's just the truth from what I've noticed doing these. Usually if something's made in Italy, it probably has good value. Stupid as it sounds. What is this one? This one's just Christmas ornaments. Um Personalized? Yeah. That one's personalized. What about this one here? It's just a glass box. You always gotta wonder just like what type of significance certain objects had to people and why they chose to wrap it up in paper and stuff. We'll never know. And other than that. Uh oh. Well. Another avalanche. Great. The tote gave out. Joy. Well. <laughs> Like we said, it's all paper and broken stuff over there already, so it's whatever. We'll clean it up in a second. That literally just scared me. This one looks like it's all paper, too. Minus those couple things we took out, the artist painting and the little thing. Everything else, no, no value, really. All right, so we just threw another box out. It was literally just those long candles just broken into pieces. I don't know why they stored that, but we got this one. Some of these might be broken because this was down, but we're going to go through it all. First thing we have, look, Crater Lake in Oregon, $20 chest. And all it's got in it is a weird mug and some, yeah. This might sell on eBay, maybe, because it's like specific location. I don't really know. We'll try. We got the snowman. He still has a tag on him. But I don't, he doesn't look broken anywhere. You think so? Nope. I think so, snowman here is good. I don't know if it's frosty. It doesn't look like frosty. I don't want to just name him. <laughs> is this Santa? Yes, no, I think the... Mrs. Claus is Aww, broken. Look, yeah. Mrs. Claus suffered. She'll go to the flea market. Aww. Frosty might too. I don't know how much they, these things sell for. So, depending on what they are. A random wooden duck. Okay. Wooden duck. Wooden duck, check. Hey, look, he's got a thing in it. Does he wind up? Oh, don't play that, Frosty. But that, that, sh I don't know. I don't know what they're worth. We'll Could be older too. Yeah, that's the thing. Little chest here. And we got pictures and a rose. 
pictures and just a bunch of random little Christmas decorations like this snowman. Most of these will probably be like a dollar or two at the flea market is what we'll probably do with them, but is that part of Mrs. Claus? No, it's like a hand that goes to something. So something in there is broken. This one, like we said, this one came down, but it looked like it landed on top of those totes, so I didn't think everything in there would be broken. So looks like we got a couple broken things. We'll sort through it and whatnot and sell what's salvageable, probably at the flea market. So just pull this box down from up here. Let's see what we got. Looks like clothes, or but then again, people like to hide stuff in their clothes, so like flashcards hidden in clothes. See, so you think we wouldn't find them. And little mini blow dryers. We find them, we find it all. Um, what else? Anything else? No, the rest of it's just clothes, I think. Nope. Headphones. Trying to just keep stuff away from us. We find it. We always find it. And the rest of it's clothes. But all in all, the headphones are probably going for like 3 or 4 bucks, And that's at least $15 to $17 worth of clothes. So I'm going to say it's a $20 box right there. Let's get it out the way and keep on going. So we got us a $50 <laughs> six-foot Christmas tree. Obviously, it's been used, so we won't be able to sell it for 50 bucks, But it is... October, so if it doesn't sell this month at the flea market, it'll definitely sell in November. I still say ten to fifteen dollars, maybe twenty. Yeah. Ten to twenty. Ten we got 20. the fifty dollar price tag right there. That might be, it might be a good selling point. So let's get it out the way and keep on going. All right, just pull this box down off the shelf now. Let's see what we get. And follow the tape, but what we'll see that. Buffy cans. We literally just last night we can't find one of ours, but now we have some new ones. <laughs> not new, but you know what I mean. Another cutting board. How many cutting, cutting board. boards does one person need? We have a lot of kitchen stuff in general. A loaf pan. <laughs> kitchen pride. Ooh. Pride. That's what we use to cook our. Yeah. Ooh, say Pyrex. No glass bake. bake. I don't know if that's collectible. I'm not sure. Somebody out there knows this stuff, and you'll be able to let us know all the information you know. We're a sponge of knowledge in storage units. We've got to keep learning things as we go. What is this one? Oh, that is. You see that? Mm-hmm. That's Pyrex. So we have like, there's like three of these in here. So if it's like a set of three, that might be some good money right there. Looks like it's going to be in maybe. Pyrex. Again. So that's two and a two. <coughs> we get the last one too. Come on, oh, there's two more in there. We got Pyrex. Three for three. I think we got us a good score here, guys. I'm trying to set it somewhere where it doesn't break. Let's go four for four. Oh, that's a dark colored one. But it's a, uh, I can't see the name on it. Now this is Anchor Hawking, it says. H and literally anchor hawking. Right. I don't know what that one's <laughs> worth, but oh, there's one more thing in there. This. Ooh. Fancy looking, no name though. That's probably a dollar to the flea market. I don't know what that one's worth, but the pirate set will probably fetch 20 bucks or so on eBay because it'll fit in like a flat rate box. So that's probably a good score right there. So remember the last part, we pointed out this weird box that was up there and finally got to it. It does have something in it, but what is the question? What do you think's in there? Gold. Gold. Oh, first, a power charger and a piece of freaking rip paper. Oh, that's got somebody's routing and account number on it. That's why it's in there. Let's see. Open. Open, you. Yeah. Pictures. Or picture frame. That looks new, unused. Dollar. Yeah, basically. Let's see, this is somebody's actual photo album. No, it's new and unused. Dollar. <laughs> Look at this one. Kitties. Lake Tahoe. This one might have a little bit more value, maybe. That's just a generic postcard that comes in it, but uh, the back. Yeah, I don't know. Dollar. And somebody will probably buy this for a dollar, so. That was only like a four dollar thing. That's no <laughs> fun. There's just to be gold in there. Oh well, that's what happens. We're gonna put it back on the cart and keep on going. So we got a microwave on top of the toast. We usually get about ten bucks for a microwave at the flea market too, so not gonna complain. Make sure it doesn't look super gross or anything. No, pretty good overall shape. It's missing the plate. Uh, that might have been in one of these things, who knows? <laughs> Honestly. But I still say about $10 for the microwave. Good deal, good deal. So we just moved another toad and all that was in it was picture frames, but I found probably the coolest thing I've ever found in the storage unit yet. 
Look at this bad boy. Mm, you know what the crazy part is? This is not a prop. Feel this. That's real wood. That is real sharp barbed wire. This is not plastic. <laughs> like somebody legitimately made this. I mean, obviously that's paint on and not real blood, but somebody actually or is it? made this thing. That'd be pretty bright blood. <laughs> this is real. Like it's from every like zombie game. That's crazy. Right? Tell me if it hurts. No. Guy is trying to kill sweet. me. This is I'm gonna keep this. This is a self defense weapon. In the For house. Halloween. Halloween's coming. It is. That's pretty cool. So just pull out this blue coat and look at this. It's like weirdly stuck to this thing. Oh, it's like a, a makeshift <laughs> rolling tote. Ooh. Ooh. We got us a motorcycle helmet. Ooh, is there a motorcycle behind all this stuff? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. A Force Air, HBC, what does this say? Heavy armor. A little thing come up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's sellable. It's like there's laws and stuff with the stickers, but I don't even see a sticker in it, so maybe it's never been used legally. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I don't know what we'll get for that. We'll see. Let's check this out. Is that a VHS player? It is. A VHS player. Gee. <laughs> I think we'll still be able to sell it out here, though. So, a VHS player and a motorcycle helmet. That's literally all it's in the roller chuck for some reason. So, put that stuff back in there. I don't really know a value. <laughs> I don't think I found a VHS player and or VCR. We're gonna call it ages. So we'll put this stuff away and just see what happens. So just got this thing down. Mark Disney movies. Let's see if we got something worth some money. All right. So we got Scooby Doo. All these not in the best shape. Winnie the Pooh. Hercules. Elmo. Lion King. Isn't that one of the ones that's supposedly worth money? Maybe. Lion King. Same with Pinocchio, I thought. And 101 Dalmatians, I feel like. Look at this. That's the Black Diamond apparently everybody's talking about, so I don't know. What else do we have? Isn't like Beauty and the Beast supposed to be the expensive it's a tiger one? Movie. It's a Tigger movie. 102 Dalmatians. Another Scooby Doo. These are in pretty beat up shape, though. The Rescuers, Cinderella. Yeah. There's new groove. I never watched Disney, so like, I don't know any of these. More Scooby Doo, Zombie Island. I didn't realize there was this many Scooby Doo. I only watch Scooby Doo on um, TV. Yeah, George of the Jungle 2. Scooby Doo again. And it takes two. Then we got Thumbarella, two of those for Thumbelina. some reason. Thumbelina. I don't know. Scooby Doo, Original Mysteries. We got a few more in here. Oh, actually one that you're gonna like, but it's not in a nice case. Bambi. Babe. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. All this stuff is bringing back memories. Lady, Lady and the Tramp. Tramp. <laughs> Aladdin. Tarzan and Bambi. You ready for the one you're gonna like? Yeah. This. Oh, Bear the Big Blue House. Welcome, welcome. No, we're not going there. <laughs> I remember that show. Elmo, that, Home Alone, Beauty and the Beast. Isn't that the one that's like if you have the case, the one of them are worth like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Discover Spot, Santa Claus, and Fantasia. I'm that's thinking, because I don't know what the difference is, we lot all of the uh, Disney VHS way up and put them on eBay for auction and see what happens because I don't seem to be able to pick out the difference between the rare ones maybe they're fake rare maybe they're real rare maybe this cover that cover I don't know I'm just gonna list them all as an auction and see what happens so we have this 12 nuance goblet yeah I'm glad you said that because I would have sounded really stupid but I'm starting good. to pick up on words that you'd rather me say three six nine ten they're supposed to be twelve what is this too? Shot glass. There's a couple shot glasses in there. But there's 10 of these in there. We might find the other two somewhere. But I'm just curious if they work. Let's show you how easy it is to search stuff up on eBay. It has a barcode. Where is the barcode? Oh, yeah. Okay, there it is. So look, if I go to the eBay app, search, hit the picture, hit the barcode, and it takes it. You can scan that. And then it'll say, oh, never sold. Well, there you go. It's not on there. 
So in this in this particular show, it's not worth it. But we also have a crock pot, the original slow cooker. This is one of the nice ones, isn't it? Look at all the dials and stuff on there. You see all that? All the dials makes it fancy. Yes, all the dials makes it fancy. And it is in there. It's been used, but wipe it down. Sell it as used. Let's see if we can get one out of two. Let's try to find the barcode on this one. I just wanted to show. I hate when you try to show how easy something is and it just doesn't cooperate. All right, let's try it again. Round two. Round two. Let's go to eBay. Picture. Barcode. There it is, but it's new. Let's see what it's selling for. You can go to filter, sold items. Where's the condition? It's not popping up for me. What? You saw it? Yeah. Okay, sorry. No, you can't. It's never been sold, used, huh? All right. What's it selling for new? We can probably take fifty percent off that. Not much. Like forty bucks, fifty bucks. So probably flea market because that's with free shipping. That's gonna cost at least twenty some dollars to ship. So this will probably be another flea market item. So. We're gonna take it out and keep pulling stuff out. So we just did a little magic trick and somehow got that book bag out from between <clears throat> this crevice here without knocking anything down. I don't know how it was done, but it was done. Let's see what we got in here. By the way, the book bag will sell for five bucks, easy. If it's a hard shell one, we usually get 10 for it. Um, let's see, is it all closed? No. Yeah. Belt, closed, shoe. Hey, pocket knife. Like a multi tool. Take it. A dime and a penny. 11 cents. Yeah, and the rest of it just looks like it's all closed, unfortunately. So, nothing interesting there. Five bucks for that. And we got a knife to cut tape now. So, call that a win. All right, so we just got the box out from between these tables, finally, if you remember. It was not easy. But we actually already have a buyer, a subscriber that wants to buy these pair of tables for 30 bucks. So, more than happy to do that. If you're in the area, definitely let us know. We will hold stuff for you because we need it sold. Well, we finally got the box out. If this isn't like a jewelry box full of a thousand diamonds and five hundred thousand dollars in gold, I'm gonna be mad. This was like tight, tucked so tightly. <sighs> you ready? You don't get to see. Oh, uh -huh. I do. Oh my gosh. Now they're just DVDs. Uh -huh. <laughs> All DVDs. No. Good ones that we can watch. Finding, you know, like three copies of it. Monsters Inc. Maybe it is. is it? Yeah. What is it in there? Oh, it's one of these lock ones. Fancy. No. Oh, yay. Or is that the bonus disc? Yeah, it is. The real one's not in there. But there's loose CDs all in here, you can see. So they might have just stored it weirdly. You see that? Yeah. So we won't know until we get home to go through it all. But we usually can't sell a DVD out here for a dollar. If you, what the heck? Is Ice Age in a tape? Yeah. I think it, I think they were trying to mark the box as DVDs. Poor Ice Age. Put one up there. But anyway, we'll go through it. But out here, we can sell DVDs for about a dollar, sometimes fifty cents. So if we get them all in there, it's probably a twenty dollar, twenty five dollar box. So that's not bad. So we just turned this big boy around right here. It's really heavy duty too. So really nice. I don't know how much we'll get for it, but I'm saying like 20, forty bucks. Forty. It listed at forty. It listed at forty. Probably end up taking thirty. We'll say thirty dollars for it. Let's see what's in here, because it does have doors, and we do have box. With I don't know what. One box. There's more stuff in here. What is this? Is that a leaf blower? Um, power blower. That. And what else? This thing. That's all it's in there. So let's look at this first. Blown crystal. Two party set. Crystal could be worth money. It's in there too. Look. Little dish and big dish. So we'll look that up on eBay. Let you know next clip. But the blower's in there. Let's see what we got in the box. Headphones. Uh, Atel lazing. I don't know. What is that? iHome, like radio clock thing. For casts. God's little devotional book. They have pictures in them. What is that in the back? Oh, I thought we finally found the money. Everyone always tells us it's not a Bible. It looks like a Bible, though. What is that? Nothing. Scratch offs. Looks like a lot of paperwork in here. Paperwork and pictures. And paperwork and pictures. And yeah, the rest of that, 
no fun. Most of it no fun, but we got the crystal thing, which we're hoping has value. This, I don't know, because it's supposed to have like a giant tube on the end of it, which I don't see. So I don't know about that. And this brand, we're not too sure of either. So, but the whole thing itself, again, probably 30 bucks. So we have this nice looking thing, which kind of looks like a laundry basket, but it also, that's the rest of the patio set we found. And it looks like it's the exact same color material. So yep. I don't know what it is, but they thought the same thing I did. Hey, is that what this stuff goes to? Yeah, I think somebody said it's like weatherproof. Um, I don't know. It feels like cardboard, but it's a little sturdier, more durable. And I guess that's exactly what you use it for, to make stuff waterproof. Oh, that's kind of cool. What is this? Cut it, hey. put it inside, whatever. Hey, is this thing that blows up like a moon bounce? Doesn't it look or like it? Or is it a dryer? Like uh, a floor dryer? I don't know. It looks like the thing that blows up a giant thing to me. You see them on, like, um, like in, I don't know, Walmart when you walk in them when it's, like, raining out to dry yeah, the floor. Yeah, could be that, too. Maybe there is a moon down here. Give me the tube. What's the tube too? I don't know. I don't want to break it. There's another. Dug that, right? The last one sold for three bucks. I think. I get Ellis track sometimes. I want to set this aside because I don't want to damage it. But there's got to be something at the bottom here. Put all the clothes over here. I'll try to pull it on that tube. There it is. There it is. It's what like is a it? pool thing. Maybe it's to a pool. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a pool filter. Well, somebody knows, definitely let us know. Mm. It's just the wires. So nothing else like... The rest of it's just closed, but there looks like to be like the same type of box right underneath this one. So I'm gonna move this one out the way and see what's in the second one. All right, so we pulled the second one down. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, it's got hinges on it. Oh, hinges. Well, looks like it's a whole toy box. Well, a little toy. Last time at the flea market, like every little girl toy we brought sold and sold fast. So this stuff is like just straight cash, basically. What's in here? Open, open. All toy, wow, look at that. That's a lot of stuff right here. Oh, honestly, this is a lot of money worth of stuff. Hey, Tetris, that's cool. My Little Ponies, Care Bears, dolls. I'm gonna say that's like a freaking, I say like 50 bucks or more for all that stuff. I'm gonna say $50 for all those toys, easy. So we got down to the popcorn machine up there. For now, I'm not touching anything else up here because it's an avalanche. We're gonna have to start this side where the boxes are more accessible and move, work our way over there. But pull down, nice popcorn machine. What do you say, 10 bucks for that probably? Yeah. And it's even got some kernels in it. How do you beat <laughs> that deal? So we just pulled down this box from over there. First one, let's see what we got. Shoes. So these are Andrea Carano, but they're made in Italy. Last time we found made in Italy, they were Salvador Ferragamo. I don't know if they have that kind of value, but this has a thing on it, but these are just flea market dollar shoes. These are beat up. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. These are boots. I don't even know what that brand says. Boots. Um, Kumbu. Yeah, that. Hey, is that an UGG? No. No, Joe Broker, like cheap Uggs. We still sell them for like five bucks. These the same thing? Yeah, they look like Uggs, don't they? Look like They're pretty beat up. Not. Yeah, these are beat to death. These are two different shoes. That's why they look so weird. Oh. Yeah, here's the other one to <laughs> these. Now we have a full pair there. They're Route 66. These are good like snow boots. Mm-hmm. These. What the heck do you need snow boots out here for? Oh, what if you go to Tahoe? There's more shoes. So this whole thing is just shoes, isn't it? But all of these look so worn. Uh-oh. Yeah, probably talking like two to five dollars a pair. So I'm gonna call it a twenty-dollar box. Just pulled down this heavy box. It was actually one of the least heaviest ones up there. <laughs> so thanks for the labeling. Let's see what we got. And it looks like actually labeled right. There's little skewers. Cookie cutters that are brand new. Looks like a few coloring down there. We got some lakes here. They're all the brand Better Home. Looks like we have one, two, three, four of them in there. We have some cupcake holders, which we use, so cool. 
And there's a big glass piece in the middle here. I can't, it's like stuffed in there. Ooh, I can't get it. Back no. Uh, ow. I don't want to break it. <laughs> yeah, it's in there, but we can't get it out. More cookie cutters. Another little dish over here. I'm gonna get this one out. Ooh, look at that Pyrex. Another Pyrex piece. Is it really? A glass Pyrex with yep. a silicone top. So we'll put all. I think we're gonna list all the Pyrex together. I'm hoping that bowl in the middle is Pyrex too. What are these? Ooh. These are here chocolate molds. Nice. These are Pyrex. Nice. We have a lot of Pyrex. You think dish. we could put everything in a giant lot? We need these things. Yeah, we do. These <laughs> are nice. These will come in handy. But I'm guessing those other four in there are Pyrex too. You think so? Yeah. Let's pull out one. We'll use one to determine all of them. Uh, no, these are better, huh? Probably the better. All right, so we might have a Pyrex set. This might go to the other Pyrex we found earlier, so it might be the one set there. And then we have like a better home set of dishware too, so I'm saying, I don't know, that's good money. I'm saying probably $25, $30 for this box alone. So we just pulled this one down. It's a Stinger WD2025. Looks like a little shot back type thing. Think it's in there? Yeah. I'm going to say no because it's super light, but fingers crossed. Hey, hey, it actually is just really, really light. Look at that. Stinger wet dry back. It's super light for a shop back. That's why I didn't think it was in there. It might not be a shop back, but cool. it's got to be worth some money right there. Something we'll look up on eBay for sure. But we can still get, look how much access we have to boxes now. So uh -huh. let's start going. So we just pulled down this big box here. It says chairs. It's obviously not. We can hear stuff rattling around. Let's see what it is. Oh boy. Ooh, Ugg boots. Those are Ugg boots. I don't think I've ever seen these before. But we sell the regular Uggs for sometimes like 30 bucks used. That could be a 40 or 50 dollar pair of shoes if the other one's in there. What are these? Just dollar flea market shoes. Ew, oh, broken, glass. broken glass. Yeah, that's a broken glass. I don't know if I want to touch this right now. Should I try to pull this bag out? No. No, it's ripping. Uh, Dang it. We gotta find that other shoe. It has to be there somewhere. Yeah, I would think it's in here somewhere too, but I don't want to mess with it right now. Glass. Yeah, it's a lot of glass in here. All right. So we'll wait till we get home because when we go through, yeah. we have gloves and stuff. So we're going to put that one aside and we'll go to some of the other boxes. All right, we got another box down. Let's see. More shoes. Shoes are not necessarily a bad thing. Bioni Night. It'd be nice if I got some brands that I know are good. Adrian Vited Vitadini. That. Um, what are these? These look like some type of skin. Steve Madden. And we have, I don't know what these are. They don't have a brand on them. Another pair of shoes. It's the same one, isn't it? Oh, XXL? Is that a brand or size? Uh, de definitely not a size. Uh, Hot Kiss. So it doesn't look like we have any high-end shoes, but again, dress shoes will sell very easily at the flea market. We can ask $5 a pair if they're in good shape, and that there's probably five or six pairs in there. So $25, $30 minimum if there's not nothing high-end. So just pulled down the next small box, and that's that. Uh, this one might be clothes and bags and things. Look at a Spider-Man Spider bag. It's got a Marvel tag on it too, actually. That might be worth a little something. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa, hold up, get out of my way, get out of my way, stuff. What is heavy. that? This is really heavy. Made in Thailand. Look at that. Hmm. Um, I don't know where to go from here. No, <laughs> but that's definitely Help. made. That's really cool. Let's set that aside. I don't even know how to look that up. You can't. If, if anybody knows what that is called. It's called a vase. <laughs> a vase. Gross. <laughs> CA screws and uh, mm -hmm. everything else in here is kind of junk, but hmm, is that open at all? It's just made to look like it does. Yeah, I'm not too sure on the price of that. That's pretty cool though. So, hold on the Xbox. I think we got like two more in this stack. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, first thing I see is this. 
Thank you very much. I was pressed like <laughs> Doesn't look like it's even been used. Elvis wallet. I don't think it could be worth listing. I don't know. We gotta look it up. There's a part over here that I didn't check. Oh, look, there's just tons of little Monster High things in there. What about the middle? Lipstick. Football. The lunch. Let's see what's in the lunchbox. Beanie Baby. What is this? Like a phone toy thing. This. I'm not sure. And just little random toys and things like that. Toys are super easy sales. It's like the third set of like casts. I feel bad for whatever happened. I don't know what happened. I think it was something that their kid was born with. Cause it, I've, I've seen them getting Ooh. bigger. Look at that. Figurines and check out these. Bambi, Cat in the Hat, whole stack of books right there. Goofy and the Chain of Castle, Lion King, Jungle Book, 101 Dalmatian, Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, Bambi. All like the OG Disney movies and Cat in the Hat. Oh, um, that's a Leap Pad too. That's a dog. <laughs> and look at all these. I think that's money. I mean, these things will sell for like two three dollars a piece so like say two four six eight ten twelve dollars plus a dollar or so for the book so this is probably another twenty five dollar box if not more so you know what we're doing pretty good today all right next box Let's see what we got uh this is a shoe holder if you like it and we just dropped one but they don't look like expensive shoes they look like shoes hey i thought that was the other ugg boot we were looking for Ugh. I think this is the case of made to look old, not actually old. Yeah. Because look at the wire. Yeah, it's not really old. In here, wire fingers. I'm getting a strong odor in this box. Light roll. Oh, get the light. Sorry about that. Got the other shoe there. Face mask. Uh, just cheap shoes. A couple bucks here, a couple dollars a pair. It looks like at the bottom there, it's just a bunch of used and make it like that. A Michael Four wallet. Do we got money? No, no, we have two IDs for two different people. That's a little shady there, not gonna lie. But now that we know that something somebody actually used, make sure there's no money in it. No, not that we see. Let's get everything out, because there could be another wallet down there. Lock, no key. We need those. We collect locks. Huh? I wouldn't touch that. Oh, is that what I think it is? Might be. I'm glad I just touched one part of it. <laughs> that looks shady. Tile Find mate. your keys, phone, and. Hmm, that might be worth looking up for eBay. They sell stuff like that at Five Below. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have problems. Dude, this shady looking bag. Oh, just makeup and stuff. I don't know. I just hope that one thing is not what I think it is, but I feel like it is. And we have some jewelry here. I don't think that's going to be real. If it is, then we're like freaking loaded now. Yeah, no markings on that. So, costume jewelry, Michael Cord wallet, and I don't know what that thing's worth. So, all right, box, I'd say. So pull out the last box we're gonna check this video right here. It's extremely heavy. What do you think's in there? Uh, well, on the top I said hair and makeup, so. Oh, well, Let's how see. many boxes have been right this unit? Like two out of 30? I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, look at all the hair and makeup. It's all DVDs. Check that out. Look at that, it goes yeah. down deep too. There's probably 150 DVDs here. At least a hundred. We sell only fifty cents for a dollar a piece between. We started a dollar as the day goes on. Don't tell nobody. We'll drop to fifty cents. <laughs> and so, say seventy-five cents a piece on average. That's about a seventy-five dollar box or so. That's a good one right there. And I think that's all we're gonna be able to go through today, guys. We got two cards full. I think we probably have how much left? You think? Um, I don't know. I mean, I mean maybe. 
definitely it's like seven or eight totes right there. Yeah. So we don't know if behind these mattresses is more totes or the mattresses go all the way back. Not too sure as of now. So we're just gonna have to come back and find out, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for all surprise writing videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're gonna be on screen. Click the links down in the description below and make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.